and safety advice has been given to households following an increase in tumble dryer fires. Yeah, last year there were 439 incidents in England involving that appliance. That is eight a week. In a survey of more than 4,000 adults across the UK, one in seven said they use their dryers overnight while they're asleep. Well, one in 20 admit to never cleaning it, which is highly flammable from the filter. Three homes in North Wales were badly damaged by tumble dryer fires in just one week earlier this month. Our reporter Ellen Wynne has been speaking to one family affected. This is the utility room where the fire started. Before Emma Vaughan left for work on Wednesday morning, she had switched the tumble dryer off and opened the door. And even though the fire was contained in this room, the other rooms, the windows have melted from the heat and even the rooms where the fire wasn't. Emma and her partner Eiros are getting married in a few weeks. They have five children between them and thankfully no one was at their Denby home when the dryer caught fire. When you arrived here what did you see i arrived to all the neighbors outside i was just in disbelief i did stupidly instinctively walk into the house i could have actually got lost within the house and i, I just feel stupid for the fact that i even risked going in the fire was contained in the utility room the heat so extreme the windows melted the kitchen, dining room and living room have been completely destroyed by the smoke. This area, everything is totally gone. Um, many sort of sentimental things and, and bits and bobs that we've saved so hard for and, yeah, it's just... I'm just lost for words. The latest figures from Wales's three fire services show that around 158 fires every year start in big household appliances, for example, fridges or washing machines. 57% of those start in tumble dryers. Don't turn tumble dryers on and then go out of the house or go to bed. Tumble dryers contain powerful motors with hot, fast moving parts. Don't over, overload sockets, especially high wattage appliances like tumble dryers. They need the dedicated own 13 amp fuse. You should always look out for any signs of scorching or burn marks on plugs or cables. Most importantly of all, make sure you have a working smoke lamp and test it regularly. We recommend once a week. We have absolutely been blown away by the support that we have had in the community. I mean, I, I've lived here two years. I've met neighbors that I didn't even know. It will be several months before the family can return home. They hope that sharing their ordeal will help raise awareness about tumble dryer safety. Ellen Wynne, BBC News. Well, we're joined now by Giuseppe Capanna from Electrical Safety First. Morning to you. Really shocking pictures there, and things could have been so much worse for that family. But eight of these incidents every week. I know it, it, it's that you know it's one of the leading causes of of appliance fires is tumble dryers. You know it's quite important that if if you're buying a new tumble dryer, make sure you register it with the manufacturer because that way, if there's a problem with your machine, they can get in contact with you. If you don't register it, there's no way they can get in contact with you to let you know that there's a problem with your machine. You know, but even if you've bought a tumble dryer and you haven't registered it, you can still check whether it's been recalled or not by going on the government site or going on the Electrical Safety First site and doing the search on your model. Are there some do's and don'ts? Because um, often people will think, especially if they're on an electricity plan that gives them cheaper electricity overnight, they might think, well, put the appliances on then, especially the tumble dryer. Or maybe people yeah. think, oh, put it on while I'm out and come back and it's all done. Are there some simple do's and don'ts to avoid the worst uh, if, if something does go wrong? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, it, don't run it overnight if you can avoid it. Sometimes, you know, we all sometimes need clothes in the morning and you need to run it overnight. And if you do need to do that, just make sure you have working smoke alarms on each floor of the building, because that way, if something does go wrong, you get like warning and it and alerts you and lets you get out of the building. Because when fires happen at night, 
you know, we're asleep and you're, you're delayed, the, the reactions are delayed and that's when, you know, the, the, the worst problems can happen. And it's not necessarily about the model per se, it can be down to our maintenance as well, can't it? Lots of people watching, yeah. well, one in 20 will be guilty of never cleaning the lint, which is highly flammable. The months can tick by without you realising. That's right. And so, so what you've got is you've got a filter that needs to be cleaned every time you use the machine. So that's every usually time. Every time. So that's near the door. But what a lot of people don't realise is that if you've got like either a condenser uh, type tumble dryer or a heat pump type, tumble dry it'll actually have also a second filter that needs to be checked periodically so it's important that people read the manufacturer instructions or if you've lost them you know get a copy of them from online because you know cleaning out those filters is really important first of all it'll help save you money because clean filters mean the machine works much more efficiently and secondly if they build up, if the lint gets out of the filters and gets into other parts of the machine, that's when you get the fire risk. You know, a blocked filter in itself won't cause a fire. The machine will have been tested for that at a test house. Just that the... it, it when uh, It's I, when I... The, the, the stuff gets blocked up and then it gets into other parts of the machine, like the motors and the heating element, that's when the fires occur. I, I, and I have, I, I've got this feeling that around the country now there are people scrambling to the, <laughs> towards their tumble dryers, thinking, where, where is this lint filter that I need to clear? I, I, I confess, I, I, didn't, I didn't know where mine was on the machine. And is it in different places if you've got, say, a tumble dryer or a washer dryer combination uh, appliance? Yeah, it, it is. So, so the, the one that you clean every day is usually around the door area and it's quite easy to get to. So that's easy to do. The other one's usually on the outside. It might be at the bottom of the machine, but it, it depends on, on the make of the machine and the model. So you do need to look up your model to see where the filter is and follow the manufacturer's instructions. So often, isn't it, when you get a new appliance, it's tempting to put the instructions in the drawer without reading them. But actually, if you go through the small print, you're much better protected. Yeah, absolutely. And if you've lost them, you can usually get, if you look up your model online, you can usually get a copy, a soft copy of the instructions from the manufacturer's website. It certainly made me think twice. Uh, Giuseppe Capanna, uh, product safety engineer at Electrical Safety First, with those very basic reminders that are really easy to forget to avoid the images like we saw there in Wales.